I think beauty is our word for the perfection of those qualities of environment that have contributed the most to human survival. Great architects have intuitively sensed these things without probably even articulating or being able to articulate why they did what they did. It just seemed right. If you look at it in terms of its negative, if we're deprived of the opportunity to affiliate with nature, it also affects us. If we were in a room that had no windows, that had just artificial light and processed air, basically you wouldn't want to be there for very long. And if you were there for very long, if somehow you couldn't escape from that room, you would start to have a kind of a sensory deprivation. We tend to think of cities and nature as being these kind of polar opposites, when in fact we need to think about the concept of a city as being more like a garden, full of nature, bountiful. If you look at sustainability, it really is what impact does people and their behaviors have on the natural environment. And biophilia turns that on its head and says, what impact does nature have on us? We grow as children by interacting with nature and learning about the world and ourselves, and when we cut that off, we are limiting a child's development. We are a technology company trying to lead the way and always to innovate and attract the best talent in the world. Creating a, a workplace that has some of these biophilic attributes undoubtedly helps us do that more successfully, and that's good business. My message to architects would be that if they do their job well, then they really are partners with the doctors and the nurses who do the healing. Biophilic design is thus about creating good habitat for people in a modern built environment that satisfies their need for beneficial contact with the natural world. Environmental degradation and alienation from nature are not inevitable consequences of modern life, but rather failures in how we have deliberately chosen to design our buildings and our cities. We designed ourselves into this predicament and we can design ourselves out of it with the help of biophilic design.